Assalamu alaikum and salam sejahtera. So, previous video we already covered the first part of reactions which is halogenations together with the mechanism. So, for this video we will cover another two reactions which is the first one is a complete combustions and then the second one is the uh, ring opening reactions of cyclopropane. Alright, so we proceed first with the complete combustions. So for complete combustions, what is important? Every combustion reaction, it must have uh, oxygen. Okay, the combustion reaction will occur with the presence of oxygen. And with carbon dioxide together with water as the product. Right, so complete combustions you have to balance the equations, okay, and then the main reactions is the alkene or your hydrocarbons plus with your oxygen, and then you will producing the CO2 plus H2O. The numbering, okay, for each of the molecule depending on the balance chemical equations for example k okay, asks for complete combustions of compound a so what you should do the first thing is change the structural formula into molecular formula okay this is the structural formula because you can see the structure okay molecular formula meaning that you can just can they see x y Sorry, CXHY. Berapa bilangan X, berapa bilangan Y. Alright, so, you tukar dia jadi bentuk macam ni. C dengan H, tak tahu berapa bilangan. So, you kira 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5 carbon. So, hydrogen adalah 12. Kenapa ikut general formula CN, H2N plus 2. Kenapa general formula ni? Because this is an alkene. Okay, next is plus with O2. The basic uh, equation is that you were producing CO2 plus H2O. So, next step is to balance the equation. So, 5 uh, carbon, so meaning that kat sini kena 5, sebab so carbon ni 5. And then, you add the 12 hydrogens, so meaning that sini ada 2, so kat sini kena 6. 6 kali 2 dapat 12. And then, for the oxygen. Okay, kat sini ada 10, dekat sini you ada 6. So, 16, so meaning that kat sini 8. Kenapa 8? 8 kali 2, you dapat 16. So, this is the complete combustion equations for this compound. Okay, so, uh, we proceed with the second or the third reactions. Okay, overall is the third reaction. Second reaction for this video. Alright, so this one you can practice more. Okay, for the complete combustions. Okay, saya tak ni sangat sebab I rasa you boleh buat. Alright, for the ring opening reactions, we focus only on the cyclopropane. Kenapa? Because the cyclopropane is a small ring. Okay, ataupun cyclic structure close and structure yang kecil. Okay. So, kenapa kita akan fokus pada yang kecil? Sebab yang kecil macam ni, small ring structure ni, dia adalah sangat reaktif. So, that's why your ring opening reactions can occur. Generally, alkene dan cycloalkene, dia react menggunakan cara yang sama. For example, Kalau you ada cyclohexin, cyclohexin bukan small ring, dia adalah ring yang besar. Alright, so this one adalah reaction untuk halogenations, so substitutions reactions, alright. So the same thing will occur to the cyclohexin, sebab dia cuma ada single bond. So bila single bond, dia mesti substitutions reactions. So, bila substitution reactions untuk single point, dia akan pergi ke free radical substitution reactions. 
So, you akan dapat substitution product. So, same thing. Okay. Salin balik bentuk asal. And before you decide you punya CL ni, you nak substitute pada which hydrogens, you can identify ataupun you can classify the carbon first. Okay. So, carbon di sini. Okay, saya letak A. Attach dengan dua carbon yang lain. So, dia adalah secondary. So, followed by dengan carbon-carbon yang lain ni pun kalau kita tengok semuanya adalah secondary. So, bila semuanya adalah secondary, so meaning that you akan dapat single products. So, because of all this carbon, okay, yang ada pada cyclic structure awak ni adalah secondary. So, kita tak ada priority untuk formations of major or minor products. So, because of that, you can choose to substitute any hydrogens in this cyclic structure. So, bermaksud, you can substitute this uh, hydrogen with Cl atom or even kalau you nak buat macam ni pun boleh tak ada masalah still dapat benda yang sama so let's say letak nak kat situ you nak letak dekat hujung ni ok ini adalah identical compound so it doesn't matter alright ni nak letak kat mana-mana pun there is no major there is no minor products ok so this is uh, what happened to the um, bigger ring ok but for the cyclopropane, which is a small ring structure, okay. So, the reactions, they are special sebab dia akan buat ring opening reactions. Bermaksud, ring structure dia akan disrupted ataupun dia akan pecah. Okay, dia akan putus. So, bila putus, dia akan jadi, contoh eh, BR2. Okay, bila ring structure dia putus, okay, putus di sini, so, antara A, sorry, B dengan C. So, antara A dengan C ni dah tiada apa-apa. Kita tengok dekat sini, daripada cyclic, sekarang dah jadi non-cyclic. Daripada cyclopropane, right now dah jadi propane. Okay, the products belum settle lagi. Because kita tak buat lagi uh, penambahan dengan BR. So, kalau cyclo uh, hexane tadi dekat atas, saya kata dia akan melakukan proses yang sama which is substitution reaction. Sama macam alkin. Kenapa? Sebab dia adalah single bond. Tapi berbeza dengan ring opening reactions. Okay, since bonding dekat sini dah putus, Okay, antara A dengan C ni dah tak ada. Okay, C ni dah tak ada. So, the reactions akan berlaku adalah additions. So, beza substitutions dengan additions. Kalau substitutions, kita substitute satu atom sahaja. Kalau additions, kita tambah. Kenapa kena tambah? Sebab dia melibatkan um, bond breaking. Okay, uh, bonding yang putus. So, sebab tu kita kena tambah. Kalau kita tengok yang atas ni, cyclohexane ni, okay, so tiada bonding yang putus. Kat sini memang ada hydrogens. Kita cuma replace ke hydrogen dengan Cl. Tapi yang dekat bawah ni, okay, kalau awak boleh tengok, okay, bonding antara A dengan C dah tak ada. So, dia melibatkan bond breaking. So, that's why kita akan buat addition reactions. So, apa itu additions? Penambahan berlaku di mana? Berlaku antara carbon dengan carbon yang terlibat dengan bond breaking. For this case adalah carbon A dengan carbon C. So, penambahan akan berlaku pada carbon A, Br dan juga carbon C. So, dia akan dapat dua atom Br. Substitutions, setiap kali berlaku, satu saja atom. Additions, terpulang ada apa dekat sini. Okay, kalau sini ada Br, so Br tu perlu dipecahkan. Contohnya Br tu, so dia perlu pecah. Satu dia letak dekat A, satu lagi dia letak dekat C. Kenapa letak dekat A dekat C, kenapa tak letak dekat B? 
Sebab bond breaking berlaku antara carbon A dan carbon C. Okay. So, bila pula you ada ALBR3? So, kita boleh enhance lagi reactions ni. So, apa yang berlaku? Dia berlaku positions isomer. Alright. So, position isomer apa dia? Adalah perubahan locations of functional group awak. So, functional group awak sekarang ni adalah B, R. So, nak buat dia mudah je. You kekalkan satu pada fixed position. For example, saya ambil yang pada C ni, saya letak takde fix. So, yang B, yang sorry, yang B, R yang ada pada carbon A ni yang you kena move kan dia. So, daripada A sekarang dia bergerak ke B. So, boleh dapat lagi satu isomer which is kedua-duanya attach K pada carbon yang sama. Okay, so this is only three uh, position isomer yang kita boleh produce daripada structure propane ni. Alright, so I'll be tengok dekat sini. There are uh, several examples, okay, sorry, for the ring opening reactions. So, kalau macam kita tengok untuk nickel dengan H2 tu. So, actually dia start dengan cyclopropane and then tambah H2. Kita guna nickel. So, putus dekat sini contoh. So, bila putus, okay, dia sebenarnya jadi macam ni. And then, kita tambahkan hydrogen dan hydrogen. Tapi, since hydrogen tak perlu letak dalam skeletal structure, sebab tu lah you tengok dia jadi macam ni sahaja. Alright, so same goes to H3O+. H3O+, adalah H2O in H+. Okay, so yang akan berpisah, okay, reagents dia adalah H2O. H+, adalah dia punya conditions. So, dia akan jadi H dan OH. So, one OH atom akan substitute dekat sini. The other one akan disubstitute kepada carbon yang hujung ni. Same goes to H dengan ice. Okay, satu letak dekat carbon yang ini, satu lagi kita letak dekat sini. Okay, so that one is for the ring opening reactions. So for the last video, okay, I will touch or discuss on the Bayer strain theory. Okay, so this one, this theory will explain why small ring Okay, like cyclopropane will undergo the ring opening reactions but for the larger ring or bigger ring, okay, it will undergo substitution reactions. Always bear in your mind the structure that undergoes substitution reactions is a stable structure as compared to compound that undergo addition reactions. Okay. Bila dia berlaku addition reaction, dia melibatkan bond breaking. Maksudnya, compound ni tidak stabil. Okay, that's why bond uh, formation dia tu boleh dipecahkan. Okay, so kalau dia substitution sahaja, maksudnya dia stable. Bonding antara carbon ni tak boleh disrupted. Okay, tak boleh diganggu. Okay, so that's why dia maintain. Alright, so we will discuss this on the next video. Okay, thank you guys.